fuel discussions for change as well, including a new law to increase penalties for firing a gun in the city. Blair's law focuses on celebratory gunfire, but their stories are similar to 11 year old girls at home hit by stray bullets. Blair was killed more than a decade ago. Lauren is now on a tough road to recovery. The governor recently vetoed a bill with Blair's law over other items in the bill. KSHB 41's Megan Abundance shows us the renewed urgency to pass it. It's a priority in South Kansas City. That was heard loud and clear, not only by the people who showed up to a South Patrol meeting, but the Missouri legislators who came to and brought up Blair's Law. We had a little girl, I think 11 years old, the same age as Blair's Law, who was hit and paralyzed by two stray bullets here recently. Representative so Mark Sharp's focus, passing Blair's Law. He says doing so could have impacted the recent violent past, mentioning 11-year-old Lauren. The South Kansas City residents here just lived through that. That just shows you that the need that we need to pass this bill. Well, it's been very difficult to hear that 11-year-old child has been shot twice and paralyzed. We know that we have been trying to get the Blair's law approved, and we hope that the governor can go ahead and get that law approved so we can stop some of the senseless shootings, killings, and paralyzation of some of our youth. These legislators say it might be the only bill dealing with guns that everyone can agree on. We have full support in the House. Blair's law has been passed in the House almost 10 times now at this point. Johnny Wilson hopes it sends a message that's heard throughout his neighborhood. I think it will send a message to them that there are consequences for those actions when you shoot those guns in the air or stray bullets or going into different people's homes. And I think that once that bill is passed, hopefully that will minimize some of that activity. Megan Abundis, KSHB 41 News.